Siya po ay nurse sa Texas. Hindi ko alam kung saan sa Texas. Ang laki-laki ng Texas. Houston? Houston? Houston, we have the answer. <laughs> Nandun ang central uh, control ng NASA. Pag-launch ng space shuttle sa, sa Cape Canaveral sa Florida, pag-launch, pag-take-off, kontrolado na ng Houston. Kaya nung nagkaroon ng problema ang Apollo 13, Houston, we have a problem. Ngayon hindi na, Houston, we have the answer, the solution. Thank you, Joy. She's a nurse at siya po ang isa sa pinakamagandang anak ni Ate Dolor Carpio, no? Birthday po ni Ate Dolor noong Saturday, 70 years old. She was only 8 years old when the church was established. Was uh, uh, established here in Tarlac, the TFBC. Uh, ang kanyang anak na bunso, na napakatalino, dalawang anak niya, all married, ikinasal po siya kahapon, si Clement Angelo. It was a very uh, blessed wedding yesterday, and I am so honored to officiate the wedding. Okay? So, si Kuya Willie eh, na-opera Noong Thursday ka ba na-opera, Kuya Willie? Or Wednesday? Ah, si Kuya Willie. Thursday, Wednesday? Siya po ay na-operaan ng appendix. Ay, hindi, appendix. Ng uh, gall stone. 15 years niyang iniinda. And hindi niya ma matay ang pain. Kay buti-buti ni Lord, no? Sinagot ng ating mayor ang kanyang opera, no? Kaya kay buti ni Lord, magkano na lang kinasas ni Kuya. Para hindi mo siya na-opera, lalo pumogi, lalo si Kuya Willie, no? Kaya, kung meron kayong bato dito sa bato o kaya sa sa gallbladder, sabi mo lang sa akin, ako nang bahalang <laughs> just kidding, no? So, wala kayong tumayo. Pwede ba tayong lahat eh, tumayo? Sabi mo sa'yo katabi, ilang araw na lang. <laughs> eh, kayo nang sumunod, kayo nang maglagay kung anong gusto nyo. Ilang araw na lang, Pasko na, o Bago New Year na, o Birthday mo na, o Valentine's na, bahala na kayo, no? Pero bilang na ang araw mo. Sabi mo sa kanya, dahil si Lord ay nakatuon sa iyo. Bilang na ang kahirapang yan at kah yung pag, uh, pagsasuffer mong yan. Ah? Uh, all things in life are seasonal. No? Kaya ako may problem, dumadaan kayo matinding pagsubok, seasonal lang yan. Kung meron kong sakit at karamdaman, seasonal din yan. Financial problems, seasonal din yan. No? Na wala kayo ng trabaho, seasonal din yan. Uh, of course, sa iba, uh, I, kaya pala malukot si mommy. When I was in Jerusalem, they're always on time. Na namatay na pala ang kanyang beloved husband on no, November 2. And, well, for, for how many years, more than 40 years mong kasama, tapos, uh, hindi po biryo, no? So, God's comfort, God's strength, God's peace be upon her. Sa lahat po, sa ating nalulumbay, uh, ang magandang balita po ay eh, nandyan si Lord. Huh? Nandyan si Lord. Sometimes you don't understand the things happening, yung mga bagay nangyari sa buhay natin. We cannot explain it. We cannot understand it. Okay, we are grieving. But, by all means, let us trust the Lord. Okay? He knows best. At hindi niya hayaan na mangyari yan na tapos bibitawan niya tayo at pawabayan. Hindi po ganun ang Diyos. He is with us. Amen? So for those of you who are grieving, uh, we grieve with you. We're family. 
And those of you who are struggling financially, seasonal lang po yan, no? Remember, Jehovah Jireh is His name. He will provide. And those of you who are experiencing fi fiery battle, fierce and fiery battles in life, remember Jehovah Nisi. He is the, uh, sabi niya, the battle belongs to Him. Magtatagumpay kayo, no? Kung kayo may sakit, remember His name is Jehovah Rofi, the God who heals. Huh? And if you need guidance, counsel, wisdom, his name is Jehovah Rohi, the Lord who is our shepherd, the great shepherd of our soul. And if you think you are not worthy, his name is Jehovah Makadesh, our righteousness. He died for us. So, lahat po niyan ay mga naranasan natin. And when you listen yung outside voice, kakaroon tayong problema. Listen to the inner voice of God. Listen to the Word of God na ni minsan hindi siya nagpabaya. Ni minsan hindi siya nagkulang. Napakabuti at napakatapat ng ating Diyos. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi, kapit lang, ha? Ha? Huwag na huwag kang bumigay. Ha? Walang bibigay. Ha? Nandito lang ako, nandito lang tayo. Sama-sama, we can overcome. Okay? Uh, tandaan niyo, for two or three gathered together in my name, sabi ng ating Panginoon, ako'y nasa kalagit na nila. I am in the midst of them. So, the more we feel His presence, His power, and of course, His peace, and... He loves us so much. Okay? I want you to raise your hands and whatever your needs are, cry out to the Lord, please. Tumawag lang po kay Lord. I know lahat, lahat, lahat sa atin dito may pangangailangan, may kahilingan, may kanya-kanyang suliranin na inaharap sa buhay. Let's cry out to the Lord. Sabay-sabay tayo. Ang sabi niya, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he will be saved. Hindi po lang, hindi lang sa kaligtasan, sa, sa, sa kasalanan, sa impyerno, kundi kaligtasan, ano man ang kalagayan natin ngayon. Just call upon His name. And then He said, those who put their trust in Him will never be disappointed. Lord God, you love these people. That's why you gave your life. You died for them. And you said, if you did not spare your own son, but freely give us, he gave, you gave your son and he died on the cross. You said, how much more these little things that we are so, we are struggling in, you're so worried and so, so anxious. Father, thank you. Now, bawat isa sa amin ay kilala mo. At batid mo ang bawat isa na may pangangilangan at kahilingan. Yung mga nalulumbay, yung tumatangis. Yung nat, nababalisa, natatakot, nangangamba. Yung mga mas, may sakit, may karamdaman. Those who are about to give up in life. Father, I pray that you will stretch forth your mighty hand and reach out on them. Don't just reach them out, Lord. Please embrace them so that they would feel your warmth, love, and embrace. Na not ni minsan, hindi nyo sila pinabayaan. Salamat po na mararandaman nila Mararandaman namin ang iyong pagmamahal, kalinga, at habag. Panginoon, salamat po na iyon ang tinugo ng aming mga pangangailangan at kahilingan. At ngayong umaga, sa pakikinig sa iyong salita, mangusap kayo, Panginoon, at katagpuin ang bawat isa. Palakasin ang nangihina, aliwin ang mga nalulungbay at nalulungkot. At iyon ang pinagaling ang mga may sakit at karamdaman. At pinagpala ang lahat ng nangangailangan ng pagpapalang pang-finansyal. Salamat po, Diyos. 
na sa iyo ang lahat ay nakapangyayari at walang imposible sa iyo. Purihin po kayo. Ito po ang aming panalangin sa makapangyarihan pangalan ng aming Yeshua, Hamasiya. Amen and Amen. Tayo lahat ay magsiyo po. A uh, few days from now, okay, uh, before I will proceed, next Sunday, before I forget, we have only one service. Beginning this coming Sunday, we have only one service hanggang January 12. Okay? We will have a Christmas worship celebration on December 22. That's next Sunday, 8.34 in the morning. Ang parking natin, first come, first serve course. Uh, please uh, advise everyone na kasama niyo sa cell group. Gamitin po natin ang social media. Now, we have only one uh, worship Christmas celebration on Sunday, December 22, 8.30 in the morning. And then, December 29, we will have a Thanksgiving worship celebration. If America is celebrating Thanksgiving Day, uh, ng last Thursday of the month of November, dito let us declare last Sunday, after, imagine, 365 days of God's faithfulness, of God's goodness, eh karampatan lang po na magpasalamat po tayo. Intentionally, sadyayin natin magpasalamat tayo kay Lord. And then, uh, we will give our best offering as our Thanksgiving uh, offering to Him. And then, January, I think January 5, first Sunday ng 2020, we will have a joint worship celebration kasama po ang, ang anointing service, no? Uh, I bought a very expensive oil from Jerusalem. Uh, ang bango-bango po nun. So, we will, uh, we will anoint each one of you so that 2020 will be a year of supernatural breakthrough sa ating buhay, sa ating pamilya, at sa ating kabuhayan. And then, January 12, hindi kasi available ang ating speaker kasi pa, uh, parating pa lang siya noon. Uh, supposedly, siya mag-speak ng first Sunday. Si Dr. Andrew Lewison, yung bilyonaryong uh, businessman, I, I asked him to share yung book niya. Meron siyang book, uh, Living a Debt-Free Life. Gumawa siya ng very practical uh, book. At nung na-confirm na siya ay mag-speak, nagpa-publish uh, po siya ng 2,000 sa CSM, darating po bukas. 2,000 book, book po yun, no books. Ang bawat pamilya siguradong meron isang book. Uh, I think this is free. And he will share his book, okay? Para hindi lang tayo magkaroon ng debt-free, kundi karoon naman tayo ng sobra-sobrang pera. Okay? Sinong gusto na kulang-kulang ang pera? Ayaw natin yun, di ba? Pero gusto natin ng wala ka ng utang, sobra-sobra pang pera mo, di ba? So he will speak uh, on January the 12th, si Dr. Andrew, Andrew Luson, Luson, no? Some of you knows him uh, very a very dedicated, committed philanthropist. Ang dami niyang tinutulungang ministry all over the world. So, yun po ang ating, ating announcement. And yung sambang gabi, this will be the last week ng san, sambang gabi. Ang ganda-ganda po ng sambang gaba, gabi, wala kayong makitang church or churches dito po sa Tarlac na, na 5.30, bukas na Ang iba, alas 5 pa lang, nandito yung mga kapatid. 5.30, meron tayong salu, pinagsalu, pinagsasalusaluhan, no? Yung unlimited coffee, and then meron pandesal at iba't ibang klaseng uh, uh, sin, inahanda ng mga, mga different tribes uh, na nag-host. Kaya, I always tell them, it's not about yung snack o yung kinakain natin. It's about the fellowship, no? You are in the table, uh, magkwentuhan kayo, share what Jesus has done to you this week, this month, or the whole year. And 
Ang ganda po na doon tayo uh, naka, naka, uh, lumalalim ang pagkakilala natin sa isa't isa. Uh, doon natin makikilala ang bawat isa. And that's what a church should be, di ba? Na nobody is, uh, is superior, everybody is somebody. Uh, please come 5.30 uh, from Monday to Friday. Uh, maaga po ang kape unlimited uh, kung meron naman kayong dalang pagkain why not it's, uh, you're, you're free no? and share it to anyone else who is in need so yun po ang ating ginagawa it's very exciting uh, bless na bless ako nakikita uh, mga uh, kayo na nasa table tawanan kwentuan and then sometimes you pray for one another uh, yun po ang um, um, ang gist nun is enjoying the table together as a family. In the Bible kasi, if you will look, uh, read the book of Acts chapter 2, they go uh, uh, in the temple of the Lord daily and in house to house, they enjoy each other. So, yun po, no? Uh, one of the highlights ng ating sambang gabi. So, let me share with you. Last Sunday, I shared with you uh, what is Christmas. You will be surprised. Many Filipinos don't know what Christmas is all about. So, sinagot natin yan last Sunday. Uh, I will not, of course, simply lang naman, in a nutshell, ang Pasko po ay uh, kapanganakan, ay pinanganak po a Messias to be the Savior of the whole world, of the humankind, of course, uh, the sinners who need a Savior. So, yun po, kaya... Sine celebrate po, no? Ang nakakalungkot, Satan is a liar. Nagkaroon ng pseudo Christ, false Christ. Kaya nagkaroon ng ibang klasing celebration ng Christmas. In other country, they don't want to use the word Christmas. It's the holidays, holiday season or other season na uh, sinasabi because they don't like the word Christ or Jesus or Yeshua. That's why, pero pagdating kay Santa Claus, bidang-bida. And all this materialistic thing, yan po, kaya ang dami-dami po sa mundo ito na they don't know what Christmas, uh, bakit may Christmas. That's why, basic lang to pero maraming natitisod dito. Baka ang anak nyo, hindi niya alam kung ano, bakit may Pasko, no? Baka ikaw rin, hindi mo alam kung bakit may Pasko. That's why we, uh, we discuss this. Ngayon pong uh, umaga, we will discuss why Christmas. Sa Tagalog, bakit may Pasko? Yan po ang ating topic. Of course, uh, we know that before the Messiah was born, the whole earth is full of darkness. Yan po ang sabi ng Bible, and chaos. Dahil po ang tao ay nagkasala. Yan po ang nagawa ng pagsuway sa Diyos. Nagkasala ang tao. Instead na light, blessings, favor, peace, everything, uh, enjoying the blessing of the Lord, ang kabaligtaran po, darkness and chaos. There's so much wickedness before Christmas. Until now, actually, it's happening. So much idolatry, kahit saan na lang, no? Immorality, destitution, unrest, slavery, suffering, of course, sickness and diseases all around. The strong rules the weak, and the weak serves the strong. And people are so much oppressed and depressed because of sin. Yan po, anangyari. Just like the description of the prophet Isaiah in chapter 8, verse 22, then they look toward the earth and see only distress. They see only darkness and fearful gloom, and they will be thrust into utter darkness and for um, punishment. Then God Almighty did something spectacular, amazing, to solve the problem of humankind. And po, in Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, but when the set time had fully come, I like the King James Version, when the fullness of time has come, yung perfect time, and timing ni Lord is always perfect, no? Hindi siya delayed, hindi naman siya advanced. It's just the perfect time finally has come 
God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption of sons, or, or, to sonship. And then the, the golden verse in the Bible, shall we read it all together? Ready, read. For so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not, what? Shall not, what? Perish, but have eternal life or everlasting life. That's the golden verse. That's the spectacular God Almighty deed and demonstrated to humankind. Yes, Christmas is the great news. As Luke chapter 2, the angel uh, announced to the shepherds watching their flocks in the evening, Bumulaga, an angel. Christmas is the great news of great joy to all the people because the Savior has been born to us. He is Christ the Lord. Yeah, Christmas is about the great news, not just an ordinary news. It's the good news, but great news. Why? Because darkness will be expelled. Huh? In all this oppression and depression, I imagine to na. Okay? To all people, it will bring great joy. Ah, hindi lang great news, but great joy sa lahat ng tao, to all people. Why? Because the Savior has been born to us and His name, uh, he, he is Christ the Lord. He, has, he was born to put an end to all the power of sin. To put an end the pollution of sin. To put an end yung penalty of sin because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. So, He was born na para say, sabi niya, tama na, sobra na. Ha? Ha? Tama na, sobra na. So, the power, the pollution, and the penalty of sin, of course, someday, even the presence of sin will be annihilated. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, the one who, do, who does what is sinful is of the devil. This is the word of the apostle John. Because the devil has been sinning from the beginning, the reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. For this purpose, in other translation, the Son of God came to destroy the works of the enemy. And Daniel, he came, the word of God says, he came to destroy all the works of the enemy. Yung pong oppression and depression and all these sickness and diseases and this destitution, kahirapan, huh? uh, all mankind, I not suffer because of the devil na siyang nag naghasik ng lahat ng kadiman ng kasamaan sa sangkatauhan. That's why the Son of God came, He appeared and He came to destroy the works of the, of the devil. He came to be the Savior to all sinners who wanted to be saved. I hope you can see this word. It is true that Jesus came to save all men. He died and crucified for all men. But the power of His love and forgiveness will be felt and experienced only to those who believe and accept Him as Lord of their lives. He came to be the Savior to all sinners. Wanted. Kasi, ang sabi ng iba eh, kaya maliligtas daw ang tao kaya nagmuha ng salamahan. No, He came to be the Savior of all sinners. He loves us, of course, but He doesn't like yung 
kasama na ginagawa, no? Who wanted to be saved. Matthew 1, verse 21, sabi ng angel kay Joseph, kasi he's planning to run away, no, nalaman niyang pregnant si Miriam. I mean, yeah, he wanted to run away. And then, while he was sleeping, the angel of the Lord spoke to him in a dream. Sabi niya, she will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus or Yeshua, because he will save his people from their sins. Okay? Jesus and Yeshua, Savior. Uh, in Hebrew, pagkasinabing Yeshua, it's very personal. It's very... Yung bang... You, you can really sense intimacy because Yeshua means my personal Lord, my personal Savior. Yan po. So, from their sins. Now, kaya may Pasko. Ito na yung tanong ay sasagot sa tanong na bakit may Pasko. First, of sin. Sabihin mo sa katabi, meron ka bang kakilala dito na hindi nagkasala? Ha? Ay, hindi ako nagkasala. Well, hmm, konti. <laughs> Nagnakaw ka na ba? Sabi ng Bible, do not commit adultery. Eh, nakita mo lang sa babae na may eh, ganun. Hindi ka ba, pagka nakakita ka ng babae, of course, kung lalaki, kung hindi ka lalaki, hindi ka talaga kikiligin dahil hindi ka lalaki. Pero mga tunay na lalaki, nagaya ko, Pagka nakakita ako ng babae, talagang, eh, sabi ni Billy Graham, ang unang sulyap, hindi kasalanan. Ang kasalanan yung kalawang sulyap. Kaya pagka nakita mo, huwag mo na pikit ang mata mo. No, just kidding. Okay? So, uh, it is written, the Bible says, there is no one righteous. No, not even one. Ha? Huh? Kulot lahat ang tao. Walang matuwid, ni isa, wala. E di kulot sila lahat. Tete sila, kulot. All have sin. No one. When God says no one, no one. Okay? Not even one. Okay? And in verse 23 of the same chapter, for all have sin. They said that Miriam or Mary did not commit sin. No. Nagkasala. Makasala, makasala din si Mary or Miriam. Ha? Huh? Di daw siya immaculate conception. No. Because my Bible says, all have sin and fall short or come short of the glory of God. No exemption. Everyone is inclusive. This is the word of God. That's why there is Christmas, kabatid. Sin is the problem of humankind. Kaya nagkaroon ng chaos problem. Nagkaroon ng ganitong destitution, slavery, bondage. There is this oppression and depression. There is this darkness and distress all over the world. Saan ka makakita na killing people is just uh, parang uh, for fun. Invading countries. It's really demonic and satanic. People who are created in the image of God. Lalapas tanganan mo. Ha? Gawin mo prostitute. Ibenta mo ang babae, ang misis mo, kaya mga anak mo. 
It's because of sin. Papatay ka ng tao. You cannot do that. But because of sin, because of greed and corruption, you will do that. That's why God cannot take it anymore. Kaya nagkaroon ng Pasko. To end all this uh, pollution and the penalty and the power of sin na siyang lumulukom sa isang katauhan. That's why dumating ang Pasko at nagkaroon ng Pasko. Dahil sa kasalanan. Dahil ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. So the only answer, antidote for sin, somebody who is sinless must die to redeem mankind. Naisangla tayo sa kasalanan, kaya somebody may tutubo sa atin. And the one who was born in a manger 2,000 years ago committed himself to become a human being to save mankind. Kasi tao ang ililigtas, kaya nagkatawang tao ang anak ng Diyos. Okay? Yan po. So, number two, because God loves us so much. When Adam and Eve committed sin, walang higit na nasaktan kundi ang Diyos na lumikha sa kanila. He loves them so much. Actually, hindi lang si Adam and Eve. Imagine, we studied, I studied in the seminary, and we have a Hebrew language. Noong second year na kami. I know, I know, I can read a little noon. But, dahil ang professor namin ay Pilipino, na hindi naman nag-aaral sa, sa Jerusalem, uh, hindi pa confident na magturo ng Hebrew, so, we just learned the alphabet and simple reading. But our rabbi na pinag nagturo sa amin sa Jerusalem, he's a Jew. He is expert in philosophy, in language, in lit literature, in archaeology, and uh, uh, in the Hebrew uh, Bible. Imagine this guy is brilliant. Palaging invites sa Oxford University, Cambridge, uh, Harvard, Ox uh, Stanford, and all this secret na university to talk about these things. So when he explained to us the the first three words in the first book of the Bible, alam ko yun kasi napagaralan namin yun. In 1981, I was second year in the seminary. Very set bara Elohim. Hindi po from right to left. Hindi left to right. Very set bara Elohim. Ibig sabihin very set. Ang translation sa ating English ay in the beginning. Bara created Elohim God. So. Iwawasun natin. In the beginning, God created. Wrong on translation. The word buries it. There is no such word in our language. It is not in the beginning. Rabbi said, if in the beginning, then God has a beginning. If God has a beginning, then He's not God. So you cannot say, in the beginning. There are many translations, and one of the closest is, in time, no time. In time, no time. When time was, no time. It has no start, no beginning. In time, no time. God Almighty created. The question is, what did God create? It's not the question. The question is, why God created? That's the question. He created something because of you. 
and because of me. Before he created, God Almighty, he saw you already in his mind. Because he, he is God. 6,000 years ago, he saw you already. He saw me already. Because he is God. That's why he created the heavens and the earth for you and for me, for all of us. The re only reason why he created the heavens and the earth, everything we needed, because he loves you. That's it. Of all God created, nagtrabaho si Lord, he formed you. Everything that God created is through the power of the spoken word. But when he created mankind, kumuha siya ng alabok and he formed it. Nagtrabaho. We are the masterpiece of God. We are so much loved by God. It's not about the creation. It's about you. That's why he created the best universe for you and for me because he loves you. Rabbi said the entire Holy Bible, if you will summarize the Holy Bible, it's about God's love and mercy. Judgment and punishment Actually, not, the Lord never thought of that. Ba, bago pa naman napahamak ang Sodom and Gomorrah, bago pa naman lumubog, ang, nagkaroon ng flood during the time of Noah, it is not God who did that actually. It is mankind who did that. They made the cho wrong choice of turning their back against God. Before Adam and Eve died he chose to die already by disobeying the lord but in the heart of god ang alam lang niya he loves adam and eve and he loves you and me and when sin came walang sino mang higit na nasaktan kundi si lord and then when he cannot contain it anymore in the fullness of time, God Almighty sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to save those who are under the law. All of us. Because in Abi, under the, all of us, ay nagkasala. At ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. That's why there is Christmas. Not because of your sin, but because God loves you and me in time no time god thought of you already he loves you and me that's why christmas is about the greatest love of all which is the love of god almighty john 3 16 if you will examine this verse for God so the key word and the most powerful word there is the word so hindi lang for God loved the world no the word said for God so loved you and me he gave he gave his only Begotten Son, one and only begotten Son, the Bible says. You know why? So that you will not perish. You will not be completely separated from God. You will not suffer, suffer in hell forever and ever. So that you and I might be reconciled with Him. Whoever, again, the word whoever is a, a very powerful word. Whoever, that's you and me, who believes in the Son, you will not perish. You will not be separated, separated completely to God and you will suffer eternity in hell. Instead, you will have an everlasting life to be with God forever and ever and ever. Pwede ba natin palapakan si Lord?
because he loves you because he loves you period. and one thing rabbi said love is not deserving if you think you are deserving that's not love love is only for those who are not deserving love is only for those who are not worthy because we have sinned against God we are not worthy and we are not deserving that's why God loves us that's the great news we are not worthy we are not deserving and yet God loves us that's the great great news there is this Christmas because God loves us so much look at what second peter 3 9 the lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness instead he is patient with you not wanting to uh, not wanting anyone to perish but everyone should come to repentance ayaw ng Diyos na tayo mapahamak kung kayo ay napahamak nahiwalay at napunta sa kapahamakan it is not the Lord's doing anymore. It is your own doing. You made a choice already. God loves you so much. God loves us so much. Doesn't want you to perish, to suffer eternity in hell. Until now, He's so patient with humankind. Until now, He's so patient with us waiting and waiting and waiting for everyone to repent and experience christmas on a day-to-day -day basis number three and last because god wants to forgive us from all our sins and be reconciled to him yes we have sinned yes god loves us but unless we will go back to God and ask God's forgiveness, His forgiveness. We cannot be reconciled. We have to repent. We have to admit that we have sinned against God. You know, in marriage, sa buhay ng mag-asawa, unless this couple will admit that they have sinned, they cannot be restored and cannot be reconciled. The center of counseling in any counseling is about sin. And if you will not accept that you have sinned, you cannot be restored and cannot be reconciled. Pride, unforgiveness, bitterness, destroys relationship destroys the family we cannot swallow our pride mas gusto mong mawasak ang buhay mo mawasak ang anak mga anak mo familia mo because of that pride and you cannot forgive that's the first thing that you will deal you will deal in counseling is admit that you have sinned and once you have admitted you have sinned, everything is possible to be reconciled and be restored. Then ask, just ask God's forgiveness and then forgive one another and release forgiveness. I tell you, kahit wasak-wasak ang relasyon mo, it can be restored much better than the original design of God. That's the power of forgiveness. Kahit na wasak-wasak ang buhay mo, kaya sera-sera, kaya wasak-wasak, sabi nga. God's love is more powerful than your sin. And greater than our sin. He will forgive us. Of course, the devil don't want you to to admit that you are a sinner and don't need a savior he's a liar of course but God loves you so much 
you are a sinner. That's why you need a Savior. That's why His name is Savior, Messiah, because we have sinned against God. Because God wants to forgive us from all our sins and be reconciled to Him. Then we will experience great joy as the angel has pronounce to the shepherds watching their flocks in the middle of the night I bring you great news I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people if you will examine this verse of course, they discussed it on Friday. This verse is about all the people. There is no one is exclusive, but it's all inclusive, everyone. And regardless of your color, of your tribe, of your language, of your country, as long as you have blood and you are alive, you belong to the Sakob Kanito. The scope of this is so wide and it's for everyone. Do not be afraid. No more fear can dictate you. No more fear can overpower you. No more fear can swallow you. Because of sin, mankind is filled with fear. So afraid, so afraid and so scared. Kahit ano nalang, kinatatakutan. That's why the first word of the angel to Zechariah, to Miriam, to the shepherds, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all the people. You will experience great joy, not just joy. You see, the joy that the world is giving you is just an ordinary joy and it does not last. 13th month pay, 14th month pay, 15th month pay, 16th month pay, your other bonuses, your other benefits, your promotion, your house and lot, your car, uh, your wealth and your riches, your fame, your achievement. After that, voila. You ask those people who have achieved a lot, who are wealthy, who have so much wealth and riches, you ask them if they're happy. Yes, they're happy. But will it last? No. They want more. They, there is no such real joy and happiness. Man is man. He never satisfied. There is the law in economics, insatiable. The word insatiable. In other words, if you have thousands, you want ten thousands. If you have ten thousands, you want hundreds of thousands. If you have one hundred thousand, you want one million. If you have one million and on and on, meron ka ng billion, you want more billions and more billions. To the extent of the humankind, people will suffer. Mamamatay. Look at the drug lords. May familia yan, pero parang hindi nila alam. Pero ma'am, ang dami na papahamak dahil sa pinagbabawal na gamot. Yung, yun lang sa internet, yung, yung pornography. Bakit wala ka bang asawa? Wala ka bang anak? Wala kang takot? Wala kang respeto? These things is all because of sin. And God's love, that's why there's, you know, iba ibang lalaki, ibang, ibang babae. Hindi ka pa nagsawa sa babae, nang lalalaki ka, lalaking lalaki ka. Babae ka, nang bababae ka. Pagkatapos na, what's next? Eh di, mga hayop na, hayop ka na rin. People will never be satisfied. Never be content. The only problem is just the missing puzzle in your heart. A God-shaped vacuum in the heart of its man. And only Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMasiyah can fill that emptiness, can complete the missing puzzle of our lives, not the things of this world. 
They're like boys. More toys. He who has more toys. The happier. No. After you have these toys, what else? I should know. I was born in the farm. Makasakay lang ako sa aeroplano. Masaya na ako. Nakasakay na ako ng aeroplano. Wala pa rin. Makatigman ko lang masarap na pagkain. Natigman ko halos lahat ng pagkain na masarap. Wala pa rin. Masuot ko lang masarap. Magandang sapatos. Magandang damit. Mga signature na damit. Masaya na. Wala pa rin. Nung nagkaroon ako. Kung magkaroon ako ng sakyan, wala pa rin. I want more. My dream car is kahit na matanda na yung Mercedes Benz na nandyan, wala pa rin. Binigyan niyo ako ng Land Cruiser, wala pa rin. The only one that can feel that emptiness is the one who died on the cross. He is the missing pastor. Great joy! Not just joy, great joy to everyone. This is offered to everyone. Are there any takers? This is offered to everyone. It was offered to everyone. Are there any takers? Asarap ng isang bagay, but it, there is a sting. Ika nga, kamandag yan eh. Sarap nga, pero kamandag. May kamandag na kapalit. Tingnan mo ang consequences ng sarap sa buhay ngayon. Look at the, all kinds of consequences sa sarap ng sanlibutan ito. Masarap talaga. Pero at the back of it, there is a sting. It will destroy your life. Not you, not just you, but all the people around you. The angel of the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid. No more. It's done. It's done. I give you, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to everyone. Crab. And they were, they were joined by the, the, the great host, the, the host in heaven, the great host in heaven jo and, uh, joined this angel. And they said, glory to God in the highest. And look at the word, and on earth, peace to those on whom His favor rests. Lahat na papuri sa Dios. He is the source, He is the author of this Christmas. Lahat. Not Santa Claus, not anyone else but God. That's why they were praising God Almighty. Finally, He made a spectacular move. Sacrifice. Actually, it's just a love, demonstration of love. Look at the next word, next phrase. On earth, peace. To those on whom his favor rests. Shalom to those. God's favor rests. Where God's favor rests. You and I will experience God's peace. I discussed last Friday there are two kinds of peace. Peace with God. When we got, when we committed non-tain kasala, we lost our peace with God. Nawala, napalayo tayo sa Dios. But because of Christmas, we felt the love of God and we repented. Suddenly, we were reconciled. That's the peace with God. And now that we are born again, we are children of God, we live a day on a daily basis. And as a Christian, we are not complete. We are on our journey as a Christian. As a Christian, we have a journey 
And there are so many temptations and there are so many problems, struggles, and different kinds of testings, fiery furnace. Iba-iba klase ng pagsubok. The peace with God is there, but the second peace is the peace of God. When you are filled with worries and anxieties and fear, security and forgiveness, bitterness, there will be no peace of God. So much guilt and condemnation. You cannot, you cannot sleep well at night. Even worship is being affected because you are being bombarded by the problems of this world. That's why there is peace with God, yes. But the peace of God, parang alay layo ng Diyos. Parang nasa ng Diyos. But when you begin to trust Him, suddenly, sabi ni Apostle Paul, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, don't worry about anything, instead, pray about everything. And sabi niya, do not forget to thank God. In verse 7, then, the peace of God, see, the peace of God, that It will over, override the worries in your mind, the fears in your mind, the anxieties in your, in your mind, and will guard your heart. And when you have the peace of God in the midst of all the trials and tribulations and turbulence and all these problems in life, there's so much peace, so much hope. Hindi ka natitinag. Bakit? Hawa ka na ni Lord eh. You have been surrounded, covered by the presence and the power of God. It's because, Lord, with all these problems, patong-patong na problema, I, I trust in you. I trust in you. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I trust in you. Even though I do not feel your presence, I trust in you. Then suddenly the peace of God will rule and reign in your heart and in your entire life. Christmas brought peace to all men who put their trust in God Almighty. Ang dami-dami tao, mahirap, mayaman, maraming pagkain na walang pagkain, there's no peace. Look at the fightings in several countries, fightings, conflict between uh, brothers and sisters, pamilya pa lang, sa mag -asawa. They don't have peace. In the church, there's no peace peace. Christmas is about peace because the Prince of Peace is here. Amen? Praise God. Prince of Peace. And I like not only just God's peace, but God's favor. All believers has God's favor. Hallelujah. Kayo mga estudyante, that's God's favor. Ang dami hindi nag-aaral, kayo nag-aaral. If you just know this, you are so favored to study. Kayong mga may trabaho, you are so favored. Ang daming walang trabaho. Kayong mga may bahay, you are so favored. Ang dami pa rin walang bahay. Ito yung mga bata na mamulot sa basura na tutulog lang sa lansangan. And because of God's favor, 
naka-aircon pa kayo. May sasakyan pa kayo. That's God's favor. May mga magulang kayo. That's God's favor. What's the cry of the orphans, fathers and mothers? Kayo mga mag-asawa, may anak kayo. That's God's favor. Everything you experience as a believer is God's favor. I wish you a college and you know that. You know how favor operates? When we choose God and to walk favor with pleasure with God. And it will begin, you will see, it will just begin to manifest. God's favor wherever you go. It will begin to manifest. Whatever you do, it will begin to manifest. Look at your family. Wasak na wasak. It will begin to manifest. Look at your relationship. Wasak na. It will begin to manifest. That favor will begin to manifest. Yung destitution. Yung poverty. Because of Christmas na wasak. It will begin to manifest when we walk with pleasure with God. When we obey Him. When we do something for His glory. But do not bribe God. Do not appease God, okay? Do it with pleasure. Every, I like the word. This is the thing that Rabbi emphasized. Read the word of God with pleasure. Serve the Lord God with pleasure. Worship the Lord God with pleasure. Preach the word of God with pleasure. Enjoy your family, your wife, your children. Enjoy the family, the TFC family. That's why I'm so happy every time I see you. I saw a family here. When I saw them, I miss them so much. Bigla ako kinilabutan eh. Sobrang saya ako nakita ko sila. And they are well. Yan tuwan-tuwa ako eh. They are well. Ang gaganda nila, lalo sila pumogi. Kinilabutan ako because kitang-kita mo ang favor ni Lord sa kanila. That's favor. Every afternoon, 5 o'clock, nandiyan ang ibang mga kabataan, mga ibang mga kapatid. They're waiting yung 5.30 kasi 5.30, magpapakain na. Ang saya po. We're family. That's how we know each other. That's how we we are. Our relationship becomes stronger. Walang kaplastigan, no. Only one motive. Himbang, we enjoy God. I enjoy God. You enjoy God. We enjoy each other. To see you growing in the Lord. To see you, in spite of the struggles in life. So happy seeing joy singing that powerful song. Baka yun ang yung theme song ni Joy sa life niya eh, That inspires her. She works alone in Texas. Wala nanay niya that's why nakatingin lang siya kay Lord. That's favor. Overcoming all the crisis, the challenges, the problems. That's favor. Standing tall until now, that's favor. We are here in the house of God, that's favor. When we go back to our home and we will eat food, Mayroon pagkain. You have all the luxuries in life. It's because of God's favor. That's Christmas. That's what Christmas has done to us. It brought hope. But just forgiveness. To those who need forgiveness, it's forgiveness. To those who are forgiven, you are full of hope. Kaya wag na wag kayong bibigay, kapit lang kay Lord. And on earth, peace. Shalom. When the word shalom is proclaimed in Jerusalem, it's a whole package blessing. It 
It's not just, peace be with you, peace be with you. No. When they say, shalom. To those who are sick, shalom, be healed. To those who are grieving, shalom, and you will be comforted. Those who are weak, shalom, you will be energized, rejuvenate, rejuvenated in the presence and in the power of God. Those who are about to quit, quit when they hear the word shalom, suddenly the spirit that is in them will rise up and they will fight again. It's a whole package. It brings life to the lifeless, hope to the hopeless, help to the helpless, fire to those Shalom to the whole earth. Not just shalom, but God's peace, God's favor pala will rest. <laughs> it is being activated and manifested when we walk with pleasure with God. And when you're a student, you study hard and harder, it will manifest. And if you are an employee, you work harder and be a model, uh, suddenly you'll become a model because of the favor of God. You have a new perspective as an employee, as a businessman, as a, as a father, as a mother, as a student. Favor of God will begin to manifest and be felt. Very set bara Elohim. Baguman, nakasala tao. Christmas is already in the mind of Yahweh because He loves you. It is His pleasure to forgive you. To give you shalom and pay more. Tang lahat ito mayo. Sing another song. I want you, while we are singing this song, you thank God for Christmas. It's not about Santa Claus, it's not about material things, it's more than that. It's the real life, the real love. From God Almighty, who loves you so much, He gave His one and only Son, so that we will not be separated, will not suffer these consequences, and have a meaningful life, a joyful, peaceful, favorable life. That's Christmas. And as we sing this song, just want to thank the Lord, okay? Just thank the Lord. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold and precious. 